call beliefs and fundamental orientations of the people in the grassroots they speak. If today, Senator Sherege stands here and talks about the membership and the leadership of Jubilee Party, which Mr. Speaker, just yesterday, the tribunal made a pronouncement that clearly states that it did reinstate the position of Honorable Kioni and Honorable Murade. And uh, in that submission, the matter is still actively being prosecuted upon by the, by the tribunal, Mr. Speaker. Is it in order for the Senator of Nandi to keep on referring verbatim to things that do not exist and to keep on directing this house that the leadership of, of Jubilee is, as his source says, that Sabina Chege and Kanini Kega are the leaders of Jubilee. And in any case, Mr. Speaker, I want, I want to, 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 to guide, uh, even, even though he's a ranking member, I want to invite my brother, Senator General Gay, and any, uh, any other person who is sitting in the majority side, that indeed we need to separate personal aspirations and legal issues with the manager of our political parties. Because, Mr. Speaker, we know very well that in this country, the political parties' organization are guided by law. And one of the laws that we have put in these houses of parliament, Mr. Speaker, is the Political Parties Act. Political Parties Act was created in the spirit, in the spirit of uh, uh, Article 1.3 of the Constitution. The issue, you should not, I'm talking to the speaker. Mr. Speaker, will you protect me from, from Gay? Gay? And uh, what, what, what I wanted to guide here, Mr. Speaker, is the fact that if indeed people are being honest, our own laws in the Constitution and subsequent laws requires under Article 103 of the Constitution that if you have stopped believing in one of the parties that sponsored you to, the, to office, the honorable thing to do, Mr. Speaker, is to resign from those political parties, go and seek fresh mandate from the people. There's no problem of you leaving Jubilee and going to UDA. That's fine with the members who have thought that UDA now is a more appealing uh, concept and uh, ideology. That one is allowed. But I've said that the point of order here, Mr. Speaker, is that Gerard Gay must withdraw. Keep on referring. Standing order are you referring to? 103, Mr. Speaker. Which, and, which 103 where? Yes, 103 on matters that are, 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 are subjudies because what is, what, what is talking about of Jubilee leadership... But you're also talking about the Jubilee. Is yeah, and, and that's why I'm guiding him. I'm, I'm guiding him that the matters of leadership of Jubilee, Mr. Speaker, are matters that are still in judicial Please. determination by the tribunal that you cannot keep on here referring to some uh, leaders who are probably not recognized by the party and have not been established by the tri tribunal as leaders of Jubilee. He keeps on misguiding the House, Mr. Speaker. And if he's so passionate about Jubilee and he wants Jubilee, then he should do it in a rightful way. He should have all the members that he wants from Jubilee from the minority side resign under Article 1 of 3 of the Constitution and join General Gay in UDA so that they can be able to advance his... his, his Thank you, Senator Andy. <laughs> Senator Andy, we have warned you. Now conclude your, 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 your support of the statement. Mr. Speaker, can you put a